three years ago I did a ski-in expedition to the South Pole and then last year I did uh, a ski-in to the North Pole in 2014. And um, that was an exciting expedition. And the group I went into the North Pole had a group that was going to go back to the South Pole this year uh, in January of, of 2017 and also climb Mount Vincent, which is 17,000 feet. And I was going to go on that trip, but uh, during the training climb this past summer, I realized I just couldn't do it with the arthritis that I had in my knees. I um, postponed the trip for a year and uh, uh, was looking for a knee replacement, but not very excited about a full knee because the rehab takes so long and, uh, and people I've known had it aren't back to full mobility. So one of the people I went into the North Pole had gotten a full knee uh, done by Dr. Stone, told me about the partial knee, so I contacted Dr. Stone and my uh, uh, surgeon in um, New Mexico. My surgeon in New Mexico is uh, world-class and highly recommended Dr. Stone, so I came to see him. And we talked about the uh, partial knee replacement and it looked like the perfect thing for me. I was very interested in having a fast rehab because between now and a year from now, I need to be fit enough to climb uh, 7,000 feet of vertical on ice and I need to be able to ski 70 miles in at 10,000 feet and uh, pull in a 100 pound sled. So I need to get fit fast. Surgery was uh, eight days ago. I had a uh, partial knee replacement knee medial on the right and uh, I have been walking since two hours after surgery. I have done two-a-day uh, physical therapies. I'm doing two-a-day uh, PTs, which I think is tremendously important uh, to get ahead of the swelling and the pain. Uh, so starting with the day after surgery, uh, a lot of it is manipulation, just the massaging and getting the swelling off and moving the uh, kneecap and uh, moving the legs so that it reduces the swelling and gets it off. So that makes it much more comfortable. The intensity and the continuation of it has been really effective for me. So whether you do PT with uh, your facility or with the, on your own, you got to do two, a, two hours a day somehow, some way. I've had a really good experience with absolutely everything from the pre-op to the surgery to the uh, post-op to the uh, uh, follow-up all the way through. The PT people have been fantastic. Uh, I've had uh, calls and contacts 24 hours a day. Uh, I have uh, uh, I've had everything happen on this uh, surgery has exceeded my expectations. I'm totally thrilled because I'm definitely on schedule again to do what I'm really hoping to do is get back to the, the South Pole a year from today.